All right, so what watch should you get for the military? So I'm going to be talking to you guys about functionality wise, okay? So I've sold and repaired watches for a very long time. So I'm going to be sharing with you my opinion, okay? So before I joined the military and when I joined the military for a while, I had a watch called Timex, Timex Iron Man. And it was a very good functional watch, okay? But after a while, you know, you have to understand watches are a liability. You have to keep up with them, okay? Because the bands break, you have to change the battery, you may, you have to make sure it is waterproofed, uh, water resistant, uh, constantly maintaining it. So, uh, it costs money to have watches, all right? It's not a one-time purchase. But anyway, so the band broke on my Timex Iron Man watch, which it happens after a year, year and a half, those usually tend to give out. But I got G-Shock here because I knew the bands were much better quality and the watch itself is much more durable. So this is a very, 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 very uh, tough watch. I can, you know, you can run a car over it and it'll be perfectly fine because it, the movement, the watch, what makes it function is covered by layers of uh, like plastic and um, springs so it doesn't really get damaged or injured right so i'm going to be reading you my checklist of what you should be looking for in a watch all right so five things number one a timer it should have a timer and also a stopwatch and number three and an alarm function alarm function is very very important and i will be going more in depth with that later and uh illuminator illuminator making sure that you can see it in the dark and lastly make it digital Okay, some watches like G-Shock come with digital and analog. The analog is the hands that you know you can read. Forget forget about the analog. Make it nice and simple uh, and make it digital. All right. So the problem I have with this watch, unfortunately, is the fact about the alarm function. Okay, and that's all you need. The five things: timer, stopwatch, alarm, illuminator, and making it digital. That's all you need. Nothing else. All right. So if you go purchase a watch and the salesperson are trying to talk you into buying some nice and fancy watch you don't need that all right so alarm wise my timex when it uh, when i set the alarm it rang until i woke up and turned it off so i like that right but unfortunately for g-shock here at least this particular watch i didn't check uh the alarm function i assumed it was going to be the similar thing same thing but Unfortunately, it's not, okay? Because the alarm function on this watch, it rings about three times lightly and it stops. So that's a downside to this watch and it rings, you know, five minutes later. But I, I, want, to, I want it to ring when I wake up. So this one is not that great functionality-wise and in more particular, specifically alarm function. So... Whenever you are purchasing a watch, make sure you check the alarm and it's to your liking and you're going to wake up uh, with by the alarm of your watch instead of using your phone, okay? Because there are some cases when you can't use your phone. So when it comes to purchasing a watch, okay, I recommend you go to a nice private watch store. You don't want to go a big, you don't want to go into a big department store. Uh, and the reason is, if you go to a private store uh, where you can see the owner or if it's a small company, you can usually talk down the price, okay? For example, let's say this is a $100 watch. Understand that they purchase all companies, you know, maybe some bigger companies because they purchase in bulk, they can get it cheaper. But at least I worked in a small private company. Uh, so if it was $100, we would purchase for, for $50, Okay, and we would sell it for a hundred dollars. So we were able to go up to 35% off, but usually, you know, customers don't know that. So I'm telling you this now, coming from my watch uh, sales experience, you can go up to 35% off if you're lucky and you can negotiate well, or if they are desperate uh, to make their uh, goals for in terms of purchase wise, maybe 40%. Okay, so. You can get at up to 35% off. If, you're, if you get 25% off and they don't budge, be satisfied with it and purchase the watch. So 
make sure, like I said before, five things, timer, stopwatch, alarm, illuminator, and make it digital, all right? And preferably, my personal recommendation is Timex Iron Man, all right? So look that up. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.